If you are tuning in today, it's because you're probably in a little bit of a panic. And if you're not in a panic, you're probably highly concerned because you're in your 2017 and up Honda CRV. You turned it on and the dash up here was filled with warning lights about brakes and lane mitigation and on and on and on. And you're probably going, what in the world is happening with my car? Now we did a previous video with the easiest way to reset this. You'll have to check that out. We'll link it at the end. That mostly comes into play if you've had a dead battery or you had to get a jump start or you changed the battery. That's how that one comes in. It's a very, very simple reset. Very simple. Check that out. If that didn't work, there is a bigger system reset that you can do and try. When you get into your car, what you're going to want to do is not put your foot on the brake. Don't touch the brake. Just hit the engine gauge once, right? The start engine button, I should say. And then you're going to get uh, a thing here that says, hey, you didn't really start this. That's okay. We don't care. We're going to let this load all the way up. You want your system to fully boot. Now, when it does, and ignore that, that's searching for a phone. All you're going to do is hold this button down. It doesn't take very long, 10, 15 seconds, something like that. And then you're going to get that right there. <clears throat> now, if you hit yes, which I am not going to do because my car is fine at the moment, but if you hit yes, what's gonna happen is this screen is gonna go blank, it's gonna go black. It's gonna show after four or five seconds, it's gonna show the Honda emblem. And that's just gonna stay like that for a good minute, a good solid minute. You're not gonna see anything. After that happens, the whole system will reboot. It'll come back on. All those gauges that you saw right there, are going to be reset you're not going to have any problems if you're driving it and those come back on over time you're going to have to take it to a shop and have them do some diagnostic work because that's the last of the simple do-it-yourself fixes check out the first video here to see if try that first because that's the simplest one if that doesn't work then follow with this one it's uncle jake with motors and mission we're going to take you out with the fist bump of friendship whoop out